Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Uh, next up, November 6, 2012, voters in Colorado and Washington vote to legalize recreational marijuana. Some of the first states to do so. How long until you think the entire country flips to legalize marijuana? I think within five years, I think there'll be a big backlash against it because they, they made fun of me in my custody trial like three years ago. They go, so you believe George Soros is weaponizing the marijuana to brain damage everybody? And I said, no, that's the media spin. Marijuana is 20, 30 times stronger than it used to be, kind of like fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin. And I know a lot of people that's ruined their lives, people that have gone schizophrenic because they're smoking really strong weed. Some people are going to have a heart attack and are aggressive because you know, they're not smoking weed. Mm -hmm. It helps some people that work all day and go home and smoke a couple hits at night. I get it. I'm for decriminalization. But my God, it's turning people into zombies. And in this spectator world where productivity is down, people are getting lazy, uh, it's definitely a gateway because now they're spiking it with all sorts of weird stuff. I know a lot of people who've lost family members uh, some of your guys you work with, you know, have lost, you know, one of them lost his girlfriend because a vape of marijuana or a THC was spiked with fentanyl. Killed her. Boom. You know, I know a, my lawyer's son just died uh, because he thought it was heroin and it was fentanyl. Killed him deader than a hammer. Uh, and so I know a bunch of people have died from this stuff. And so now they've made it so, so strong uh, that it really, because used to, okay, they had marijuana listed as a hallucinogen and as this really high schedule drug. Well, now it really is. I mean, I had Joey Diaz one time at a fight like 10 years ago in Houston with Joe Rogan. He goes, here, eat this cookie. He goes, oh, it's only so many grams. I, I eat it. I'm thinking, okay, I'll have, and, and literally I was, I was there for like six hours of the fights. I was watching the preliminaries and I was going to hang out with them backstage and stuff. I didn't, I couldn't get up. It's one of the only times in my life I almost pissed my pants. And about six hours into it, I, I'm like able to get up and get to the bathroom. And my bladder was about to burst. And I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty strong guy. I literally couldn't, I was stoned for three days off that cookie. Well, there are people just gobbling stuff. And I've talked to like Joey Diaz. He's like, yeah, that was a pretty big one. Sometimes I eat two or three of those a day if I want to. And I literally couldn't walk. So this is weaponized. And it's not marijuana anymore, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? I, I don't know if it, I wouldn't say it's weaponized. I think it's just uh, everybody has different tolerance levels for that stuff, and people don't realize it. Oh, it's just weed. That phrase, it's just weed, has been said a bunch or of times. Or it's just a plant. Well, yeah. so is black nightshade. Yeah, so smoking it, you're not going to get. Yeah, there, yeah. There, there's a ceiling on how, how high you're going to get smoking it, but if you take like concentrated oils and stuff like that, probably should maybe test a little bit out first, then do a little bit more. My God, I'm see. scared of it because I'm not a person okay. that's afraid. You can give me that as a as a as a tortured thing. I mean, like talk about like anxiety and you're breathing, your heart beating. I'm like, huh. Edibles, I mean, I don't man. like it. Edibles. That's that is the the clean cut explanation for that. Yeah. Is edibles. It is, edibles yeah. will always get you. It'll get you. Yeah. It'll sneak you up really on you. Too. Know. You don't no, really I, know. No, that happened. You're like looking through the blinds and yeah. That oh, happened. Yeah. That happened to me in at the 2013 <laughs> Golden Globes. I think I was watching with my girlfriend at the time. And we had these suckers. I'm like, oh, it's only X amount of grams. No big Can't be deal. That bad. Yeah. I was looking on that thing, and all of a sudden, I couldn't move. I'm like, oh, here we go. Oh, whoopsie. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> we both called out of work the next day. It was a shit show. And I was a, I was in a. You could torture me with that. I did not like it. Well, let's. You and I should do mushrooms together. Have you ever done mushrooms? Oh no, my <laughs> ex-wife will sue me if I tell her mushrooms. I've never done anything. <laughs> Oh, really? Because uh, Dan, Dan wants to go down to Peru and do ayahuasca here. Um, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. get invited on a regular basis. Have you done it? Uh, no. No. Man, there really are other dimensions. And, you know, they have people that go to these events and 50 people see the same thing. Okay, so it's it's not. It's another dimension and it's aliens. Sure. And I, and I, and I knew about this when I was a kid because I heard people that were involved in government projects that were doing it. I didn't know what they were talking about when I was a kid, but my mom just had some friends that were involved in those projects, and they're like, yeah, you know, we're trying to map out these levels, talking to the, the elves, we call them. It's kind of like the little technicians, but they were more like robots, and, but then there's some really... And I'm like, here when I'm a kid, you know, on a road trip with my mom, with one of her friends, and then, you know, later hearing stuff about it. Um, my parents weren't involved in it, but they knew people in San Francisco working with universities and the government. And after I talked about it on Joe Rogan earlier this year, he had another professor on going, well, actually, it's about to be declassified that in Japan and England and the U.S., DMT drips are like astronauts. We're going in. We've been mapping it for decades. They've been mapping it. They're talking to the dudes. That's why the Aztecs were all doing the stuff and all of them. Mm -hmm. And they're not nice. And if you get into this, like, you know, God is not going to get involved in our free will. But there's bad stuff in the universe. And it's like chumming for sharks. That's why they do blood rituals and Satanism or in every other culture at certain sites. 
was because it's like chumming and you get bigger fish to come in, you know, and, that, and that's why you kill kids for the energy it releases and these things show up. Uh, and so a lot of these DMT trips, these places you go in Peru or Costa Rica is you'll have practitioners that aren't the government doing their own research. Uh, and they're actually going to bring some people in and then designate somebody that's going to get attacked by these entities in this deal. And, and, and that person will never be normal again. That's why they have you sign all the waiver forms. So they're doing black magic. They're getting you in to attack certain, you know, people will see like 50 things attack one dude. And that's because you're really seeing Satanism going on and you're having, and you're seeing aliens. So you want to see aliens, go, go, go take DMT. Yeah, I'm going to. That Absolutely. was the best endorsement uh, for it I've ever heard. Actually, it is. That's I the coolest really shit I've ever heard in my well, life. Well, I'm not, not going to take it. because you know, Really? Here's, here, let me... Let I'm me, not going to put myself willingly into that deal. I, need, let, I got Jesus. Let me pitch you something. <laughs> let me... Let me. He's the big deep state, deep state you know, transmission. Let, I already got... I'm already covered. Let me pitch you something. I've got, I've got sight into all that without turning myself into that dimension. Let me pitch you something. Yep. I want to do an animated series as you as a child. Oh, it'd be so good. It's Alex Jones as a child, just going through your everyday life. Yes, and it, it would be pretty good. Then you <laughs> look at th then you look at how you became who you are, and then everything that went on around you as a child. So, like you saw an alien when you were eight years old, and that led you down a certain path. This would be endless story. But we don't we don't right go now. with any of the real shit. We go with all the crazy shit you said, like jokingly over the years. And the gay that, frogs. Yeah. The, uh, like, no, but I mean, I turn it. My in, mom's. Turn it like, I don't talk to my mom about this. I mean, I, she literally had a friend that was a high level in one of these psychedelic research institutions at the university, and it was the CIA. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it turns out my current, you know, my new wife, she was, uh, uh, these, these projects are so huge, it's not like a big deal. It's like saying, hey, I worked at Coca-Cola. Yeah. She was involved in Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation deal that was funded by the CIA, and she was smoking too much weed and partying too much, so she washed out of that program. By the time they told them, hey, by the way, this is the government program, and this was virtual reality 15 years ago, totally real doing battlefield surgeries, all this other kind of stuff. So there's a lot of, a lot of programs, but I'm sitting there, hearing about the clockwork elves. We think they're more like robots and we're mapping it. And then I, mean, I was hearing classified stuff just because her friend was talking about it, you know, at the dinner table once then on a road trip. That's real stuff. That's not a fake story. Mm -hmm. And that's why later, you know, I'm, I'm like hearing all this stuff and figuring out what it is. They're, and Joe's not a bad guy, but they're through Joe and others. They recruit people. They're rolling out the psychedelic revolution. That's why big tech is saying, oh, we're about to roll out DMT ayahuasca for the general public. Mm. And then they're going to yeah. use programming before <laughs> and after to kind of let us meet our new boss. Well, that could actually work pretty well, honestly, just from what I know institutionally about ayahuasca and other drugs like that. Uh, they, they call it three years of psychotherapy in four days, basically. Unless it's being used for bad stuff. No, but you can as use a mind control therapy for bad stuff, right? No, exactly. But they're, so you can, you can they're mainlining MK Ultra. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you could absolutely do that if you if you could control the narrative during the trips. If you're well, on that or ceremonies, it's, whatever they it's call it, ley lines and energy lines. For whatever reason, dimensionally, they can come in. You spill blood of innocence that brings them in, uh, and so I mean, the, so the big thing is that you know they're trying to up who they're talking to, trying to get information. Which, which, which then they're able to then reconstruct here. Mm -hmm. The aliens aren't giving us the technology. In fact, these are lower level things. They know what we can build. They've already been around a bunch of places and seen stuff that we've built, other things that built that are more higher order like us. We're just at an embryonic level. So they're basically like attacking eggs on the seabed right now. And, 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 and they're a lower level creatures, but they're, you know, they're attacking us at our embryonic level mm -hmm. uh, and, and trying to like twist us and then get us to build these systems for them.